Hi, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a quick tarot card reading about how your Aquarius feels about you. This is a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. If your person has Aquarius anywhere in their chart, this reading may very well resonate with you. If this, if this reading does not resonate with you, do not try to make it fit, okay? Use your cerebral intellect and your intuition, and if this reading just doesn't, you'll know in your gut if this reading resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, do not force fit it, okay? Don't try to wear somebody else's shoes, all right? If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click in the link in the box below and get a $50 tarot card reading until August 1st. Okay, your Aquarius comes into this reading with the Six of Wands. This Six of Wands talks about <clears throat> victory and progress and self-confidence. So I'm going to tell you right now, this reading is about reconciling, re reuniting or reconciling your differences. So whatever kind of communication came before this, this Aquarius enters into this reading with a sense of victory, progress, and self-confidence. However, they have to go into the hermit mode and do some soul searching, some introspection, and seek some inner guidance. Because with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, they are in a state of spiritual poverty when it comes to consistency considering reuniting or reconciling differences in your relationship. The Seven of Swords in reverse tells me that this Aquarius um, has a lot of mental challenges when it comes to reuniting or reconciling with you. The Two of Wands in reverse says that this Aquarius has a fear of the unknown. With the King of Wands in reverse, they don't want to make any kind of impulsive or hasty decisions in regards to reuniting or reconciling with you. With the Nine of Swords in reverse in the center of their reading telling me that they have um, a, a very severe sense of hopelessness when it comes to reconciling this relationship with you. The wheel <clears throat> the wheel in reverse tells me that they are resistant to change and they want to break this cycle. They are resistant to reunite or reconcile with you and they want to break this cycle. The Fool card in reverse says that your Aquarius feels that reuniting or reconciling with you would be naive, foolish, and reckless. The Tower moment says that this is an absolute epiphany to them, an absolute epiphany, a revelation and an awakening about their control, stability, and security in their life. The King of Swords comes in and reviews in reverse and says that they feel that you are manipulative to the Four of Wands. You are trying to manipulate your way back into to their life. You are trying your manipulation, you are trying to affect their stability and the structure of their life with your manipulation. The Queen of Wands in reverse <clears throat> talks about your aggressive and demanding um, nature to the king of pentacles in reverse they see you as domineering and controlling with your passionate messages from the prince of wands and temperance comes in and says that there is an imbalance there is an excess of pressure in this relationship which causes an imbalance in your Aquarius and they see a huge need for a realignment of their own values and self-healing in the situation and I can pretty much tell you that Aquarius is not interested in reconciling or reuniting with you in this relationship at least not today because they see you as aggressive demanding and tyrannical manipulative in your approach. That is how your Aquarius feels about you. Namaste. 
Hey there, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is uh, How Does Aries Feel About You? How does your Aries feel about you? Of course, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it does not resonate, do not try to make this fit into your life, okay? Use your discernment, use your common sense and your logic and your intuition. If this does not fit into your life, do not make this fit. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you subscribe to this channel, you can click the link in the box below and get a $50 tarot card reading until August 1st. All right. How does Aries feel about you? Well, how does Aries feel about you? They feel heartbroken. That's how Aries feels about you. They feel heartbroken with the Three of Swords. With the Devil in reverse, they are beginning to release their limiting beliefs about you. The Devil is about an attachment that is a restriction to somebody's personal growth. And this Aries feels like you are an attachment that is a restriction to their personal growth and they're beginning to release their limiting beliefs about you and this relationship. That's where the heartbreak comes from. The Six of Swords says that this Aries feels like you have too much baggage that you can't leave behind, that you can't move on from, or there's too much baggage in this relationship that both of y'all can't move on from. Either way, Aries is releasing their limiting beliefs about this situation because there is too much baggage and y'all just can't move on from it. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is about loss. And the wheel comes in and says this Aries wants to wants to have a turning point in their life and a turning point in this relationship. Because with the Six of Cups in reverse, they feel like this relationship is completely unrealistic. It's unrealistic and there is no hope for this relationship. The hanged man in reverse comes in and tells me that there is there is a bit of stalling going on here to the emperor in reverse because Aries is exhibiting some self-discipline, right? They're giving you their Aries is sitting back and watching to see exactly how this situation is going to unfold. All of the cards are in your pocket cross watcher and Aries is is tempering themselves before they pull the trigger to end this relationship in order to see how you are going to handle the situation whatever the situation is that is causing this re uh, this 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 reevaluation of what this Aries believes about this relationship so there is a bit of self to self discipline going on here and the the decision to end this relationship and move out on their own with the wheel because they find it to be an unrealistic situation this aries is sitting on it and exhibiting self-discipline for a minute before they bring a culmination to the situation because the moon card they just really want to see clearly they want to see absolutely crystal clear how you are going to handle yourself in this situation cross watcher this Aries, while he is sitting or she is sitting and waiting to see how it is you handle yourself, they're formulating their thought pattern. They're formulating their thought pattern about how they are going to bring this relationship to an end with the death card, about how they're going to bring the relationship to an end with the two of pentacles talking about how this Aries is going to prioritize and balance the ending of this relationship because with the princess of wands this Aries most definitely is feeling a sense of enthusiasm exploration and discovery right this Aries wants to branch out and go in another direction but I do believe maybe out of obligation out of respect out of um, whatever it is between the two of you, Aries is just sitting on the execution of death in this relationship for just a second. We come down here and the Seven of Cups says Aries thinks this relationship is illusion, fantasy, and wishful thinking. The Star in Reverse says this Aries has a lack of faith in this relationship. 
Aries is in his her, his or her mind with the hermit energy, doing some soul searching, some contemplation, seeking some inner guidance because the five of wands says there is lots of conflict going on, lots of conflict. Seven of swords in reverse tells me that this Aries is breaking free of the Hierophant, of the commitment with you in this relationship. And the Five of Swords in reverse tells me that this Aries is open to change in their life. They want change in their life. This Aries sees this relationship as completely and totally illusion. They have lack of faith in this relationship, lack of faith. They're doing some soul searching and some introspection about the conflict that is surrounding this baggage that can't seem to be let go. This releasing limiting beliefs about this relationship, releasing an, an attachment that is a restriction to their personal growth. Seven of Swords in Reverse says they are breaking free from the Hierophant, from the commitment with you, and they are open to changes in their life. The King of Swords in Reverse comes in and says this Aries feels like he just very, or she, okay, King of Swords, he, that he or she may very well have to be um, tyrannical or abusive when it comes to cutting off this relationship with you. They just see no way around it. They've tried to talk some sense in the relationship. They've tried to address the situation. Now they're sitting back and just waiting to see how it is that you are going to create your own demise in this relationship. King of Swords says they're going to have to probably be pretty brutal about the ending of this relationship. And you know, Aries doesn't want to do this. This is a burden and a struggle. Aries does not want to be brutal about ending this relationship. But with the lovers in reverse, there is an absolute misalignment of values in this situation. The Queen of Cups comes in and says that Aries is making this decision with a sense of emotional security, emotional balance, and emotional control. This is not a, 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 an argument where Aries is like, ah, blah, 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 it's over. No, this is a cold, calculated, emotionally balanced, controlled, calm, secure decision to the empress in reverse this empress in reverse is all about a creative block being that aries is blocking any creation of emotion in this situation aries has shut off and checked out to the ace of pentacles in reverse aries is chalking this up as a lost opportunity. There you go. That is how Aries feels about you and this situation at this particular point in time. Namaste. Hi there, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a short reading about how your cancer feels about you. How does cancer feel about you? This is a general reading. If this resonates, great. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit, okay? Do not try to make this fit into your life. If it resonates, take it and run with it. If it doesn't, leave it on the table and walk away, okay? All right, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click on the link below and get a $50 reading until August 1st. All right, how does cancer feel about you? Well, your cancer feels very challenged by you, very challenged by you. With the page of cups in reverse, this is an emotional block. Your cancer has blocked their emotions towards you, or they're beginning to block their emotions towards you because with the nine of pentacles they want a culmination to the relationship five of cups in reverse talks all about um, moving on right moving on and the eight of wands in reverse talks about frustration but holding off for just a second Okay, so just to reiterate, your cancer feels very challenged by your relationship. The Page of Cups says that they have blocked their emotions towards you. They have cut 
off their emotions towards you because what they want is a culmination to this situation. They want an ending to the situation. The five of cups in reverse says that they want to move on from this relationship, but the eight of wands in reverse says that they're holding off for just a second holding off despite their frustration they're holding off just a second what are they holding off for well because of the six of pentacles the giving and receiving and the sharing on a daily basis to the king of cups in reverse this king of cups in reverse is about emotional volatility they're holding off for just a second to see if anything changes in your daily exchange that could possibly bring this cancer out of feelings of emotional volatility towards you nine of wands comes in and talks about having some courage having some resilience having some persistence right they're holding off for just a minute before they culminate this relationship and move on temperance in the middle of this cancer's reading right temperance again holding off balance patience purpose moderation right they are holding off and to the moon in reverse they are repressing their emotions to see how this might actually play out but nevertheless apparently it doesn't play out well because judgment comes in this cancer is making a decision a judgment call because with the seven of wands I'm sorry, the seven of pentacles in reverse, there is limited success or reward, and there is lack of a long-term vision in this relationship. And this particular cancer is leaving it out in the cold. What are they leaving out in the cold? Your commitment with the Hierophant. They are leaving the commitment to you and this relationship out in the cold. The Nine of Swords comes in and says, do they have some anxiety about it? Yeah, they have a lot of anxiety about it. They have a lot of despair, right? They have a lot of anxiety and despair, but nevertheless, they are going to manifest a new opportunity elsewhere the queen of cups comes in and says that this is an emotionally balanced controlled and emotionally secure decision they are calm cool and collected they are not hysterical they are not upset and they are closing out this cycle with you and they are going to move into a brand new chapter of their life the burden and the struggle is over because there is accomplishment ending this cycle with you. The magician comes in and says that they are going to take inspired action to engage themselves elsewhere. Because with the six of wands in reverse, there has been a severe fall from grace and some disrepute with you between you and this cancer in this whole relationship. And that is how cancer feels about you. Namaste. Hi, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a quick tarot card reading about how your Capricorn feels about you. This is a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. If your person has Capricorn anywhere in their chart, this reading may resonate with you. This read, You will know if this reading resonates with you. It will hit you in your gut okay do not second guess yourself if this reading does not resonate with you do not try to make this reading fit into your life you will know within a few moments this reading is probably going to be about a minute long you should know within a few seconds if this is your reading or not okay do not try to make this fit into your life if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click in the link in the box below and get a $50 reading until August 1st. Okay, how does your Capricorn feel about you? Well, your Capricorn opens this reading with the Three of Wands, having some foresight because of the sun in reverse, because they're feeling a little overly optimistic about a love relationship to the Ten of Pentacles. They're feeling a little overly optimistic about a love relationship and the ability to create a future. The Judgment card comes in and says they are going to make some kind of a judgment call because there is some kind of a burden and a struggle about baggage that cannot be released. The Empress in the center of this reading is, is, is your Capricorn putting their self-value above and beyond anything else. 
This tower moment says that your Capricorn has had a massive revelation and awakening about this relationship. And the alchemist says they're about to take some inspired action. However, they're going to pause for a minute and go into the hermit energy to think about some things, right? Do some soul searching and some introspection. Because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse tells me that this Capricorn feels like there is an imbalance in the commitment between the two of you. There is something interfering in the balance in regards to the commitment between the two of you. There is something that is creating an imbalance in the harmony, happiness, and values alignment in your relationship with the Ten of Cups. The Prince of Wands in reverse... The Prince of Wands in reverse tells me that this Capricorn is very frustrated with this relationship to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And there is a, a sense of a lost opportunity happening here to the Five of Cups. This Five of Cups is about loss, regret, and disappointment, despair to the devil in reverse. This Capricorn is feeling like perhaps this attachment is a restriction to their personal growth and they are releasing their limiting beliefs about this relationship. To the star in reverse, they, are, they, are, they, they have a lack of faith in this relationship. They have despair in this relationship and they are disconnecting themselves from this relationship to the six of wands. In order to have victory, progress, success, and self-confidence elsewhere, followed by the justice card, there is a sense of unfairness, dishonesty, and a lack of accountability from the Capricorn to you, Cross Watcher. That is how your Capricorn feels about you today. Hey there, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a How Does Your Gemini Feel About You spread. This is a general spread for the sign of Gemini. How does Gemini feel about you? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, doesn't matter where Gemini is in their chart. If it resonates, it resonates. If it does not resonate, do not try to make this fit into your life, okay? If you listen to this and you're like, eh, I don't think so, don't try to make it fit, okay? Don't. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click the link in the box below and get a $50 reading until August 1st. How does your Gemini feel about you? Well, your Gemini feels heartbreak, pain, grief, sorrow, and rejection when it comes to you. The magician comes in and says that, that this Gemini is going to take inspired action to put a death to this relationship. King of Swords says this Gemini is going to speak their truth about the Knight of Cups in reverse, the unrealistic situation that is in front of both of you. Two of Cups in reverse says there's a misalignment of values and imbalance in the relationship and a breakup on the horizon. This Gemini is racked with anxiety, right? Anxiety, torment, depression, any varying degree of hopelessness, um, despair, right? They're, they're really kind of, they're really, this Gemini is really choked up about this whole situation. However, with the Nine of Pentacles being a culmination in the center of this reading, this Gemini is most definitely ready to bring a culmination to this relationship. The Queen of Cups says that this Gemini is uh, making this decision from a calm, cool, collected, emotionally balanced, emotionally controlled, emotionally secure perspective. What is the perspective? The perspective is for this Gemini that your relationship is a restriction, is an attachment that is restricting their personal growth. The Seven of Wands says that this Gemini feels challenged in this regard. They feel challenged. To the Four of Cups, they sit, 
they contemplate, they reevaluate everything, which was probably the catalyst for this entire situation because upon reevaluation and contemplation, this Gemini shows up as the King of Cups in reverse. This is being emotionally volatile. This Gemini is pissed off. The Three of Wands comes in and talks about preparing and having foresight. So while this Gemini is contemplating and reevaluating this relationship that they see as a restriction to their personal growth, this Gemini becomes more and more emotionally volatile and begins to prepare for this breakup. The Six of Cups comes in and tells me that this Gemini's family life is a burden. This Gemini's family life with the Nine of Wands makes this Gemini on edge and defensive, right? It makes this Gemini have to have courage and strength. To the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, this Gemini, honestly, this Gemini feels stuck in this situation. The Empress comes in, they feel stuck in regards to building any kind of abundance with you in your relationship. The World card comes in and says they're ready for a completion. They're ready to close this cycle out, close out this relationship and consider it an accomplishment and move into a new life cycle without this relationship. Strength comes in and says, will it be easy for this Gemini to do? But nevertheless, they will do it because they see better in their future with the star card. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, and spirituality is what is on the horizon for this particular Gemini. So there you go. This is how your Gemini feels about you. If it resonates, awesome. If it doesn't, don't make it. Okay? Namaste. Hello, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a quick reading about how does your Leo feel about you. This is a general reading for the sign of Leo and how Leo feels about you. This may resonate with you if this person has Leo, if your person has Leo anywhere in their chart, anywhere, this reading may resonate with you. If this reading does not resonate with you, do not try to make this fit into your life. Do not keep yourself up at night thinking and overthinking things in the Eight of Swords, trying to figure out if this is your reading or not. You will know intrinsically in your gut if this is your reading. If you would like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at Deep Thoughts with Dana. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click the link in the box below and get a $50 reading until August 1st. Okay, how does your Leo feel about you? Well, your Leo is ending this relationship with the death card because of a sense of um, betrayal with the Seven of Swords. Your Leo is in a state of emotional volatility with the King of Cups in reverse in regards to your love relationship with the Lovers card. This Leo feels disappointed and abandoned in this relationship. The Hermit card in reverse tells me that this Leo is withdrawn, right? Isolated and withdrawn and feels very lonely. This Leo feels foolish with the Fool card in reverse. They feel naive and foolish. Because the Chariot in reverse comes in and says that there is a lack of direction and opposition in this relationship. What is the opposition? The opposition is that somebody that this Leo is in a relationship with has more of a focus on either family commitments or work commitments than they have on their Leo. That's the problem. This Leo feels slighted and betrayed because something in their partner's life is more important than they are. This Nine of Pentacles in reverse comes in to reiterate that there is an overinvestment in something 
else something besides the Leo in this relationship. And Leo is going to make a regretful but necessary transition out of this relationship. The Nine of Wands comes in and tells me that this Leo has had courage. This Leo has had persistence and resilience right? This Leo has applied much patience, purpose, balance, and moderation in this situation, being that this Leo is hoping for the Ten of Pentacles, right? They're hoping to be able to come together and create family establishment and build a future. This Leo is hoping for the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. This Leo has been very very patient with you when it comes to taking a back seat to whatever it is in your life that is more important than your relationship with the Leo. However, the Leo feels a great sense of spiritual, um, spiritual um, poverty. This Leo feels a great sense of spiritual poverty because of a third party situation. And I'm not saying it's a person, it's a person, place, or thing, but whatever it is, this Leo feels that it is way more important than they are. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse comes in and talks about ending a cycle, breaking a cycle, right? breaking cycles. This Leo is going to break this cycle because they are making a regretful but necessary transition out of this relationship. Hence the reading starting with the death card, right? Knight of Wands comes in and says that this Leo is going to take their energy, their passion elsewhere. They are going to take inspired action, right? To manifest success vitality. I'm sorry, six of wands. They are going to take inspired action to manifest victory, progress, and self-confidence elsewhere. And the ace of wands comes in in reverse and says that they just simply, this Leo, simply has a lack of motivation to stay in this situation not one minute more. There you go. That is how your Leo feels about you. Namaste. Hi, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a quick read about how your Scorpio feels about you. How does your Scorpio feel about you? This is a general read for the sign of Scorpio. If your person has Scorpio anywhere in their chart, this reading may resonate with you. If this reading does not resonate with you, and you will know, you will know in your heart and heart of your, and you, you will know in your heart of hearts and your gut if this reading resonates with you, okay? If there is any kind of doubt whatsoever, this is not your reading. Do not try to make this reading fit into your life, okay? This is a reading about how Scorpio feels about you. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click the link in the box below and get a $50 tarot card reading until August 1st. Okay, your Scorpio opens this reading with the Ace of Wands, right? What he thought, she, he, them, what they thought was going to be an, inspi an, an inspired, creative, powerful beginning has turned in to be just in disarray, right? It has not worked out for this Scorpio. Judgment comes in and says that they need to make a judgment call. They have to make a decision about how they're going to progress in this relationship. King of Swords comes in and says they are going to speak their truth and make a decision about the Seven of Cups in reverse, about the illusion of what was supposed to be the Ten of Cups, harmony, happiness, and values alignment, has now turned into the Princess of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of progress. The Eight of Pentacles in the center of this Scorpio's reading in reverse says that this Scorpio has a lack of ambition to procure this relationship any further. This Scorpio has a lack of ambition to heal any kind of broken heart that may have resulted in the hopes that this relationship was going to work out, but in the inevitable end of it. 
The Princess of Swords comes in and talks about all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. This Scorpio is in the moon in reverse. This Scorpio is repressing their emotion to the Four of Cups in reverse. They are repressing their emotion and chalking this up as a missed opportunity. And by repressing their motion, emotion, I mean that Scorpio is making a head over heart decision in this particular relationship. Like I said, the Four of Cups in reverse is about a missed opportunity and it's about being aloof as well. The Six of Pentacles, there is a missed opportunity in regards to the giving and receiving and sharing on a daily basis. To the Three of Cups in reverse, which is stifled creativity, right? This Scorpio is not willing to put in the effort that it takes to create anything more with you in this relationship. This Scorpio is checking out. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. This Four of Swords in reverse talks about um, being burnt out and a lack of progress. This, like I said, Scorpio is done with this relationship right here. Burnt out, a lack of progress. They may hold on just a little bit longer, but it's only for their self-serving purposes and not necessarily because they want to work anything out in this relationship. The Alchemist comes in and says that the Scorpio is going to take inspired action to the Eight of Cups. The Scorpio, Scorpio is going to take inspired action to abandon and withdrawal from this relationship. To the Ten of Pentacles, they are going to go find their security elsewhere. The Five of Wands in reverse comes in and says that this is conflict avoidance, right? Just conflict avoidance all the way around. They don't want to fight. They've just made up their mind that this is not the relationship that they want to be in. Strength in reverse talks about the Scorpio using their inner strength and their raw emotion, right? In regards to, to self love with this lover's card right here. This lover's card is about love, harmony, alignment, choices, self-love. This Scorpio is going to exhibit some self-love in this situation because they have some absolute mental clarity about the lack of teamwork and collaboration revolved re, revolving around in this relationship the ace of cups comes in and says scorpio wants a brand new beginning in love someplace else justice in reverse says that this scorpio sees this relationship as as a lack of accountability dishonest and unfair does the scorpio see you as dishonest with a lack of accountability and unfair no the scorpio sees this relationship as unfairness to both of you. This relationship has a lack of accountability and it's dishonest because Scorpio has checked out. The Hierophant in reverse. This Hierophant in reverse is about personal beliefs. This Scorpio has come to a major decision about how they believe this relationship um, is is going to be okay they have come to terms with their own personal beliefs in regards to this relationship seven of wands comes in and says that they are giving up the nine of pentacles there is a culmination to this situation which ends in the death of this relationship this scorpio sees this as a turning point in their life and they are breaking this cycle in order to create a new cycle elsewhere outside of this relationship and the eight of wands comes in and says that scorpio is going to take speed action have movement and swift change to execute this cycle breaking and a turning point in their life to close out one cycle and begin a new cycle and that my friend is how your scorpio feels about you. Namaste. Hi, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a quick uh, tarot card reading for the sign of Pisces. This is how does Pisces feel about you? How does your Pisces feel about you?
This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. If your person has Pisces anywhere in their chart, this reading very, mel very well may resonate with you. If this reading does not resonate with you, do not try to squeeze your feet into somebody else's shoes. It doesn't fit, okay? It just doesn't fit. You will know in your heart of hearts, in your subconscious mind, and your intuition if this is your reading or not. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click in the link in the box below and it will take you to a website where you can book a $50 reading until August 1st. Okay. How does Pisces feel about you? Well, Pisces enters into this reading with the justice card in reverse. This is about unfairness, a lack of accountability and dishonesty. Your Pisces is feeling that there is some kind of unfairness, some kind of dishonesty, that you have some kind of lack of accountability in this relationship. To the Eight of Cups in reverse, this Eight of Cups in reverse is about hopelessness and walking away. To the Ace of Cups in reverse, this is about blocked emotions. This Pisces has cut off their emotions towards you. This Pisces has cut off their feels towards you. The Moon card comes in and says illusion, fear, anxiety, right? There is some kind of... Pisces thinks that there is some kind of a secret, some kind of dishonesty, some kind of lack of accountability in this relationship. To the four of wands in reverse, this is a breakdown in communication. A breakdown in communication and potentially a transition is going to occur in this relationship. The ten of pentacles in reverse is a sense of loneliness and loss. To the Six of Pentacles, who it is that they give and share with. There's loneliness and loss in the Six of Pentacles, who it is they share their life with. The Six of Cups in reverse comes in and tells me that this Pisces feels naive and that this relationship is unrealistic. The Princess of Wands comes in. And it tells me that this Pisces, this Pisces is feeling a need to be free. This Pisces is feeling a need to be free because the Princess of Swords in reverse is about all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. This Nine of Wands down here tells me that this Pisces, this Pisces is trying to have courage and resilience in this situation because their the structure of their life right the the establishment and structure of their life is tied up in this situation and they're trying to be they're trying to have courage they're trying to be um they're, they're, they're trying to give the benefit of the doubt because their entire life is wrapped up in this situation. But the Five of Cups in reverse comes in and tells me that this Pisces is moving on to the Three of Swords in reverse. They want some optimism. They want to heal their pain and have optimism in their life to the temperance card, right? Temperance is about self-healing. This Pisces wants to heal themselves, release the pain, have optimism, and just simply move on from this relationship. The Eight of Wands in reverse talks about frustration. The Pisces is in the Nine of Swords, right? In any varying degree of depression, anxiety, and despair. But I do believe this Pisces is also chalking this entire thing up to a painful lesson with the two of swords coming in talking about being at a crossroads right being at a crossroads clarified by the alchemist in reverse this pisces feels like perhaps this entire thing was just poor planning there is a sense of manipulation going on here for this pisces and the king of cups in reverse tells me that this pisces is is in a state of emotional volatility with you you at this particular time. And this is how your Pisces feels about you.
Namaste. Hi, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a quick tarot card reading about your how your Sagittarius feels about you right now. This is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If there's Sagittarius anywhere in your person's chart, this reading may resonate. If this reading does not resonate, do not try to make this reading fit into your relationship or your life. You will know intrinsically in your gut if this, re if this reading resonates with you or not. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click in the link in the box below and get <coughs> excuse me, and get a $50 reading until August 1st. Okay, how does your Sagittarius feel about you? Well, your Sag opens this reading with the Prince of Wands in reverse. This Prince of Wands in reverse is frustration. They feel frustrated. The Queen of Swords in reverse says that they feel volatile, right? They feel they feel frustrated and they feel volatile to the nine of pentacles wanting to bring the situation to a culmination temperance in reverse comes in and says that there is an imbalance and a misalignment of values in the relationship that need to be realigned the Hierophant in reverse says that this Sagittarius is contemplating their personal beliefs about this relationship. The Moon card in reverse says that they have a lot of inner confusion to the Five of Cups. They have a lot of inner confusion about feelings of loss, regret, disappointment, and despair judgment in the center of this Sagittarius's reading says that they are about to make a judgment call. They are about to make a decision to the Prince of Swords in reverse with a complete disregard for consequences. That is how bad this situation is wearing on this particular Sagittarius. They're about to make a judgment call. Let the cards fall where they may. They have a disregard for consequences at this particular point. Four of Cups in reverse comes in and talks to us about, um, they see this as a missed opportunity, right? They just, they see it as a missed opportunity. It's just not not working for them. The Princess of Cups comes in and talks about emotional immaturity and a creative block. I do believe this Sagittarius may think that you are emotionally immature and they are blocking any kind of creation in this relationship. Ace of Pentacles in reverse says this Sagittarius sees this whole thing as a lost opportunity. Four of Swords in reverse tells me that this Sagittarius is burnt out with the lack of progress in the situation. To the Princess of Pentacles in reverse, this Princess of Pentacles in reverse says the exact same thing as the Four of Swords in reverse, a lack of progress. This particular Sagittarius is, is in the Eight of Cups energy, right? This Eight of Cups energy is all about disappointment, abandonment, and withdrawing from this relationship to the Emperor in reverse because they feel that there is some kind of inflexibility going on here that they just simply can't tolerate. The devil in reverse. They are seeing this attachment as a restriction to their personal growth and they are releasing limiting beliefs about you in this relationship. The star card in reverse says they have a lack of faith in you and in this relationship. To the king of cups in reverse, they are emotionally volatile at this particular point. To the six of swords in reverse, because there seems to be some kind of baggage that can't be let go of. Two of Wands comes in and says they're going to begin to plan for their own future. To the Three of Wands in reverse, they're going to plan for their own future because there is no chance of long-term growth in this relationship. Ten of Swords comes in and says they're putting an end to it. The Three of Swords in reverse says that they will find some optimism and some healing 
in their feelings because they are more concerned about self-love than a love relationship with you at this moment. And that is how your Sagittarius feels about you. Hi, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a quick reading about how your Libra feels about you. If this person has Libra anywhere in their chart, this reading very well may resonate. If they don't, do not try to make this reading resonate with you, okay? Not even if they don't. I don't know why I said that. Don't try to make this reading resonate with you. Either it hits home or it doesn't. Use your cerebral intellect and your intuition to come to a conclusion. If this hits you in your bread box, this is your reading. If it doesn't, it's not, okay? All right, if you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click on the link in the box below and get a $50 personal tarot card reading until August 1st. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, how does your Libra feel about you? Well, your Libra opens this reading with the Justice card in reverse. Your Libra feels a sense of unfairness, lack of accountability, and dishonesty in this relationship to the Three of Cups in reverse about a third party situation. The Six of Wands in reverse tells me that you have fallen from the good graces of this Libra and you are in a state of disrepute. The chariot comes in and says that this Libra is about to take some action because they feel foolish and naive with the fool in reverse. The tower says that this Libra has had a revelation and an awakening that is creating a bit of chaos in both of your lives. The seven of cups in reverse comes in and says that this Libra sees this relationship as an illusion. Queen of Swords in the center of this reading tells me that Libra is, a, is about to speak their truth and make a decision about an absolute inevitable end to this relationship. Strength comes in and says that they have a lot of self-doubt. Four of Pentacles says that they are in self-protection mode. Two of Pentacles in reverse because this relationship has a lot of disorganization attached to it. Four of Swords in reverse comes in and tells me that Libra feels burnt out and a lack of progress in this entire situation. With the Five of Cups in reverse, this Libra is going to move on to the World card in reverse. They are going to break this cycle. They are seeking personal closure in the situation. With the Princess of Cups, they are going to, they are going to create a new beginning someplace else. The alchemist says they're going to take inspired action to the ace of wands. They are going to take inspired action to create a new beginning someplace else to the queen of pentacles. They are manifesting security, control, power, discipline, and abundance in their own life. And they are walking away, putting an end to this relationship and going to take their efforts and their energy and apply them in a different direction. That is how your Libra feels about you. Namaste. Hey everybody, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a quick little spread about how Taurus feels about you. Yes, this is a Cross Watcher special. This is how Taurus feels about you. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click in the link in the box below and get a $50 reading until August 1st. Alrighty. So how does Taurus feel about you? Well, Taurus feels like there is a severe imbalance of values in your relationship. A severe imbalance of values. There is a misalignment between the two of you that creates a lot of disharmony for this Taurus. This Taurus is, is, is leaving this behind. They're, they're not entertaining the misalignment of values in this relationship. And they are moving forward with hope, faith, purpose, renewal, and spirituality of themselves. 
the princess of wands comes in and tells me that this Taurus has a great sense of enthusiasm and exploration, discovery of free spirit. This Taurus is feeling really, really good that they turned their back on this relationship with you that has a severe misalignment of values. Ten of Swords says that this Taurus has put this relationship to an end. Regardless of who ended it first, this Taurus at this moment, this relationship is absolutely over for them. To the Ace of Wands in reverse, this is about a lack of motivation. This Taurus has zero motivation to be in a relationship with you. The Four of Pentacles in reverse tells me that because of the misalignment of values in this relationship, this Taurus has, go, has had to go into self-protection mode, serious self-protection mode, to the Three of Wands in reverse. This is obstacles to any kind of long-term goal. There is no long-term future with this Taurus. The Queen of Wands in reverse in this reading, in the center of the reading. All of these cards revolve around this Queen of Wands in reverse. This is a metamorphosis. This is an absolute metamorphosis of this Taurus. They are inside themselves right now creating the Two of Pentacles, creating balance and prioritization in their life with self-discipline as, 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 as <laughs> shown by the chariot in reverse. Self-discipline. This Taurus is going through a metamorphosis. They are creating they are creating balance and prioritization in their life through self-discipline. The self-discipline to stay away from you. Ace of Swords comes in and says they have absolute mental clarity about this situation. Absolute mental clarity. There is no going back. The Sun in Reverse says, of course, of course they're feeling a little down. To the Five of Cups, of course they have feelings of loss and regret and disappointment in the situation. Of course they do. But the Alchemist in Reverse says that they also feel manipulated by you. They also feel manipulated by you, right? And they are, are down in the mouth a little bit because they honestly thought that this relationship had a chance. The Seven of Cups comes in and talks about fantasy, illusion, the alchemist in reverse is manipulation. They're feeling a little bit down because they really thought that this relationship could have gone somewhere. But it was really fantasy and illusion, wishful thinking and manipulation. This puts this Taurus in the hermit energy, right? Soul searching, introspection, four of swords doing some contemplation. Remember the metamor metamorphosis right here. This is the metamorphosis right here. This whole row is metamorphosis for this Taurus. Contemplating while in the hermit mode and doing contemplating about the wishful thinking and the manipulation the feelings of feeling the feelings of feeling down and the absolute mental clarity that they have truth is spoken in this justice card about you my friend about you this taurus sees you as a toxic energy in their life this devil in reverse is about releasing their limiting beliefs about an attachment that was a restriction to their personal growth you judgment in reverse comes in and says that they are ignoring the call whether it's a physical call whether you are trying to if you're trying to get a hold of this taurus they are ignoring you okay they're also ignoring the call to readdress any of this to readdress any of it they are ignoring the call to the six of wands because in this metamorphosis in this mental clarity in this justice from the hermit energy with the six of wands this taurus is victorious this taurus is 
making progress and they have self-confidence in the decision that they made about you. The world card comes in and says, son, they are closing your cycle out. They are closing this whole cycle out of their life. They are integrating everything that they learned from this relationship, chalking it up as an accomplishment and rolling on out. Two, the king of pentacles. This is Taurus in their power, security, control, power, discipline, and abundance. I'm sorry, cross watcher, but this Taurus is doing just fine without you. That is your reading. This is how Taurus feels about you. Namaste. Hi, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a short tarot card reading about how Virgo feels about you. How does your Virgo feel about you? This is a general reading for the sign of Virgo. If there is a Virgo any place in this person's chart, this reading very well may resonate. If it does not resonate with you, do not try to make this reading fit into your life. Use common sense, logic, reasoning, and intuition to decide whether this is the reading for your person or not not. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you can click on the link in the box below and get a $50 tarot card reading until August 1st. So how does Virgo feel about you? Well, your Virgo is in a state of self-protection. Your Virgo is in a state of self-protection because of the Six of Pentacles in reverse, because there is a sense of selfishness going on in this relationship from Virgo's perspective. The King of Swords says some truth is going to be spoken about temperance in reverse, about the imbalance in this relationship. Virgo in the Eight of Swords has been caught up in their head for a good hard minute about this situation, but at this particular point, your Virgo is about to release the mental anguish. Five of Cups in reverse tells me your Virgo is about to move on with a very big decision in the Judgment card because the star in reverse says they have a lack of faith in this relationship and they are disconnecting because they have some foresight with the Three of Wands about the unfairness, the lack of accountability or the dishonesty in this relationship. The Eight of Wands comes in and says that your Virgo is about to take quick action and communicate to you about the broken heart that's about to happen because of a, a lack of faith in this entire situation. The Three of Swords is painful separation, sorrow, grief, heartbreak, and rejection. So this communication is, supposed, is going to come in swiftly about the rejection that this Virgo is feeling in this relationship and about the rejection that the Virgo is going to do to you in this relationship. The lover's card in reverse tells me that this Virgo feels a serious misalignment of values, a serious sense of disharmony and imbalance in this relationship. Page of Swords comes in and says this Virgo is formulating a thought process about how they are going to express the King of Cups in reverse, their emotional volatility at the moment. The Seven of Wands in reverse comes in and says that this Virgo, Seven of Swords, I'm sorry, comes in and says that this Virgo is about to break free from this relationship to the Ten of Pentacles in order to pursue their future. The Devil card comes in and says this Virgo sees this relationship as an attachment that is a restriction to their personal growth. The Magician in reverse tells me that this Virgo feels manipulated in this particular relationship. 
Queen of Cups in reverse says this Virgo has a sense of emotional insecurity in regards to the relationship with you. And they are going to manifest themselves into the energy of the Queen of Pentacles, security, control, power, discipline, and abundance in their life. And the Knight of Wands says that this Virgo is going to take their energy, their passion someplace else. That is your reading. This is how your Virgo feels about you. If this resonates with you, if it doesn't resonate with you, don't try to make it fit. Namaste.